Exciting week. Maction has taken place. Kent State poured on 69 points yesterday. Here's the screen. Dallas Dixon has it. And he'll make a couple of men miss. And really get this kid tunneled in vision-wise on what he needs to be seeing. Using both teams, physical front fours, and who can execute the best under those circumstances. Pimpleton, the quarterback, fakes the handoff, and there he goes. Khalil Pimpleton off to the races for an easy CMU touchdown. Very long, and that's one of the ways that Central Michigan is adding some oomph to their run game. It's getting Pimpleton in a wildcat direct snap. They lost Jonathan Ward over a 1,000. Kobe Lewis set to receive the direct snap. And Khalil Pimpleton in motion. He's got our first touchdown of the night. Lewis wants the set. Michigan doesn't go fast a lot, but they're going fast right here. And that was Ty Brown from just outside the six. Two and a half minutes in. Don't bleak in this one. Play action, and Brock's going to be sandwiched. Down he goes back of the night. Reboot mentally a bit, little bit. When a running quarterback like Brock comes in, you have to be killing one another in the defensive huddle. This All adds up to a third down and goal, and D. Rich back on the field at quarterback. And he's going to be pressured. Pimpleton has it. Players in this conference. Kobe Lewis. We've seen this play a number of times. Lewis keeps it off the left side. And it's the Broncos defensive coordinator, Lou Esposito, told us that when they do this, Central Michigan essentially goes 11 on 11. The top offense in the MAC last year in terms of total of things. The question is going to be sustaining things as it remains at one location for a long period of time if he does that. Field right here. Lou Nichols, the running back on third and long. Here's heavy. But even on a screen, if you don't have an eligible receiver in the area and you're not outside the tackle box, then you're in trouble. That's a Early deficit against an arch rival. Lou Nichols in the backfield. And instead, it's Pimpleton on the end around. Then a lot of window dressing, and then the goal is to get your playmakers the ball, and it's Pimpleton in that case. We've already seen him in this game. Richardson looking deep instead is flush. And a nifty pass to his run. Richardson does a really good job of keeping his eyes down the field. This is one of the things Charlie Fry is working with him on. It's footwork, but it's also be a passer even when you're outside the pocket. And then he gets the red shirt freshman from Detroit. And Pimpleton again with the direct snap. Lost the hand on Western Michigan, bobbles it. And I believe Absent. the ruling Pimpleton on the field has been in this position before, before but no, every recovery you by take your eye off the ball because a wide offense, receiver become a quarterback has to do some ball handling. Did you take your eye off it? And then that thing. And the ball just caromed right out of his grasp after a loss of seven. Or basic play to look dividends early for CMU, not as much on its last two possessions. Richardson, the quick toss. Coming off the left edge, and Sullivan was the outlet receiver. You can see number four coming right there, Lupo, Lupro, but the back off of that, or split the field in half and play action pass off of that run game. Off the screen, Dallas Dixon, second grab, big yardage. That is clearly and quickly defined. Lewis directing traffic now with the direct snap. Fakes the handoff, brilliant spin move, and he's going to be spun back. Here at Kelly Short Stadium. 90-second all-time meeting between these two. The empty backfield, time for Richardson. And slings it inside and under. It's not something you see a lot called offensively, but indeed the correct call there. CMU backed up, and there goes Nichols. Remaining time in this quarter. Get the run game going again. They'll fake it to Nichols as Richardson rolls out. And a penalty flaggy, as you saw. And now on second and 15, there goes Nichols, which checks the studio. And Central Michigan, after jumping out in front by two scores early, shell shock. And, and a lot of penalties, and they play behind the chains a lot since then. Third and 15, Richardson buys some time, flings it in. And Austin, our rules analyst, confirming that. 
Nearly an attempt. Here's Richardson looping one deep. On the back end for Western Michigan. Kobe Lewis weaves his way through traffic. Three man pressure. Across the middle and in. Richardson making just his third career start tonight. Pocket collapses. He escapes. Third down. Direct snap for Pimpleton. And he's going to throw it. Lofts one complete. And Central Michigan. Throw the football well, and he showed it on that play. Ty Brock steps in as a signal caller. Groove and. And Brock was only in there for one play. Hand off Lewis. Churning the line. So CMU off of its first third down conversion today. Brock is back in at quarterback. And 25. Pimpleton going to escape the pocket and plenty of real estate for a first down. Pimpleton to the end. Back into it. So you've seen Pimpleton on the quarterback runs out of Wildcat, and this was going to be a pass again. And what you're seeing right now is just a great athlete. Me. Fair. Richardson back in at quarterback. Nichols in the backfield. And Richardson escapes the initial pressure end zone. And goes on at the line of scrimmage as well. And a Wildcat quarterback typically doesn't do it well. Pimpleton wants to throw it. The high school quarterback thought about it. <laughs> And there still isn't what? any answer the last time we looked, so there might be more to come. There goes Kobe Lewis with a nifty run, a flag on the field, into plus territory. Stays in bounds, he has an open path to the end zone. You gotta think 88 has a hand in this play at some point too, doesn't he? Looking Pimpleton's direction back of the end zone near the goal line. That's both sides almost pitching a no-hitter. <laughs> Play action for Richardson. Big possession. Marshawn Nealon also back on the field. That's a good sign for Western Michigan. Kobe Lewis, direct snap. Third. Three man front for the Broncos. Back in the zone they'll go. Richardson bottled up from behind and driven. Be inserted to the pass rush in downs and distances just like this. He's going to work around the right edge and come back as Richardson one side to work but run the football you have plenty of time left a ton of time the inside give Lou Nickel Pimpleton straight into the boundary and just see if he can get to the edge no the other way he'll throw it the high school quarterback lofts went up and incomplete Richardson back in at quarterback Inside handoff to Lewis. Off game with Cincinnati or BYU, I guarantee you that. There was ever going to be a year for a group of five to still get into that top four spot. CMU back to work, Kobe Lewis. So according to you, two teams from the ACC would be in the college football playoff this year. Nice run by Lewis. Alabama's probably been the most consistent overall with Mac Jones just tearing it up. And Ohio State certainly is maybe the most talented of that entire group. I would tend to agree as Richardson escapes. And out the window, <laughs> right? In your I scenario. think the Big 12's out of as it. As I did yeah. in, in my top four. Pimpleton spun down. Needed three. Hope the game is... There are a lot of packages that don't include him in this offensive game plan. Clean pocket before it quickly broke down, and Pimpleton escapes. Dot plays, but also getting the ball between the hashes like we just saw right there. Nichols to the edge, triple team, and brought down quickly. Eight at this point in time. Yeah, these two programs at the top of the MAC West, both undefeated at 2-0. Oh. Richardson slings it deep. Pass is going to be... Lewis steps in. First and goal. Halfway through our fourth quarter. And Lewis up Pimpleton started his career at Virginia Tech. He'll motion Lewis his way. On the zone read to the pylon. For Philly, I have to correct you, and I don't do that often. This is not a zone read. This is called a faux read. Because 88 was going to keep the ball. 
the gun. I'm going to run this. In fact, he might have been ordered to do so. They'll go for two. Richardson looking back at the end zone. Don't go anywhere just yet. Richardson back on the field. Cross the middle, wide open. That's a big gainer to Pimpleton. Trip. He's done that a couple of times tonight. Low snap handled by Richardson. Heaves one deep, incomplete. Left to still have happened tonight. Richardson with all night to throw. Sends it high. It's going to be caught. Dallas Dixon, it's first and goal. Outside the pocket once again here, probably into the two receivers and now three receivers down to the bottom of the screen. Richardson into the boundary. Nichols has it. No. Did Richardson try to get there as the protector of that play. Clock did not stop. Richardson into the flats. Nichols with a stiff arm crossing the Central Michigan already burned all three. Looking towards the end zone, back corner. And under center. Back to the other side. Tight end is the end man on the line of scrimmage to the left. Tries to get caught in traffic, gets.